Hi, hello again, YouTubers. This is Malachi D. Wildman, and I am playing Star Wars Force Commander. Um, going to give a little background on, uh, probably going to attach this to another video, uh, part of another video, but I haven't given any background why I picked this game and started playing this game when there's other, uh, when it's already on YouTube. Partly was because all the other versions are in both ones I, s I have seen are in German and or they're not narrated. So I was like, okay, let's give a narration on a give a little something different, and that's part of the reason why. Uh, so that's my explanation on that. Uh, I hope I can give some. I have. <laughs> I hope I can give some clear explanation of what I'm doing in the missions. If I'm not, I'll probably have to, I'll work on that definitely by the time I get further into it. Right now, this is just going to be for the training missions. I'll do training missions first, first and foremost. And if you're bored, just skip ahead to the first mission and go on for that. Uh, anyway, that's we'll go ahead and get started on the game and. Okay, let's play her. Welcome to another, another let's play. Bye. Malachi D. Wildman. Four. Star Wars. Force Commander. Oh, gotta, gotta insert my other CD. Sorry about that. You must have the c other CD. CD2! So we'll go ahead and insert CD2! And we have CD2! Insert it! It's your drive! Well, well. It's CD2! It's been inserted into the drive! Let's do some training now! Yes, campaign please! And cutscene time! Lieutenant, Grand General Brashin has authorized me to supervise your training. Oops. And I'll expect a full report on his performance, Captain Toulon. Very good, sir. I trust you are familiar with the Battlefield Holographic Control Interface? Only in passing, sir. Okay. Hello. The device is fairly simple. It is divided into several sections. The main screen is a three-dimensional representation of the information received from the battlefield. Navigating this virtual world is one of the more challenging aspects of your command, but it is vital for gaining control over your units. And remember, Lieutenant, all of this information is represented in the BHCI reference manual. I suggest you review it before you're in the middle of combat. I'm initiating the online training program. Trooper, ready and able. Now then, we're going to move the camera forward and backwards. Good. Let's try moving the camera left and right. A and S. A and D. Do a quick study, Lieutenant. Tilting up and down is also possible. Your camera will automatically maintain its focus point while doing so.
cabin. There are a few other ways to move the camera. These will both be invaluable in finding the enemy and your own units. One is orbit, which keeps a stationary target point and rotates the camera around it. The other is pan, which causes the camera itself to rotate. Let's try that now. Very good, Lieutenant. There's just one more camera move to learn for now, and that is zoom in and out. Excellent. One thing to keep in mind, all of these camera moves are duplicated on the mouse as well. Take a few moments to familiarize yourself with them, then we can continue. Your command? I've never seen an officer candidate pick that up as fast as you did, Lieutenant. You were an excellent choice. Oh, thank now you. Now let's learn how to command your troops. Yes, sir. See that sand trooper out there? He's an advanced scout of Zeta Squadron. Let's get his attention. Go ahead, Lieutenant. Try it. Your command! Let's move the trooper now. I'm on my way. Do you see the bright region around the sand trooper? That represents the limit of the unit's sight. Any other enemy units will not be visible in the BHCI until they fall into that area. If you look at the middle of the BHCI, the selected unit's unique characteristics are shown. This area is called the leader display. The unit's health, rank, designation, and personal name are all presented. You can change his personal name at any time to better track your units. Go ahead and try it. I call him Mr. Shoot Me! Shoot me! I've gotten tired of waiting, your storm troop. Securing cargo doors. Ah, good. The rest of Zeta Squadron has arrived. It will give me a chance to show you how to select multiple units. Stormtrooper reporting as ordered. For the Empire! Notice that their icons have shown up in the BHCI. This area is called the Group Display. Along with the unit in the Leader Display, it shows the representation of a group of units. Now let's deselect the group. That will do. Now locate and select a Dubak Trooper from Zeta Squadron. Remember to use what you've learned about the camera. The Dubak is a special type of unit called a carrier. He can carry a trooper on his back. See how the group display area has changed. It now shows a sand trooper icon. This is the unit being carried by the Dubak. We're going to order him to dismount now. Stormtrooper ready, sir! I'm planet side now, sir. The other way to quickly disembark from a carrier is to use the unload all button, which shows up in the BHCI's command bar. The command bar is located above the group display area and automatically detects which type of unit you've selected, setting the commands appropriately. Your troop carrier and speeder bikes will function in the same way as the Dubak. Let's get that sand trooper back on the Dubak. All of your humanoid units have the ability to board or mount a carrier. Stormtrooper ready, sir! I'm 
I'm planet side now, sir. Your command? I've got it. I've got it. Commander, you're under attack. Let's shoot. Stormtrooper reporting as ordered. Stormtrooper ready, sir. Watch the hour. Stormtrooper reporting as ordered. Stormtrooper reporting as ordered. Unit Very good, Lieutenant. You've conducted yourself well. Never engage the locals unless they first provoke you. You're a soldier, not a murderer. Yes, sir. Enemies are easy to spot if you stay alert. They first show up on the strategic map, the square display screen to the left of the BHCI. This is a stationary overview of the battlefield. The dark regions represent unexplored areas of the battlefield or regions that are deemed not relevant to the mission at hand. The blue contacts represent units that you can control as an agent of the Empire, in this case, Zeta Squadron. Red contacts are enemies of the Empire. Yellow represents neutral units, and white contacts are your currently selected units. The contact flashes between white and its color when combat occurs. There are other types of contacts. If you're curious, I would suggest you consult the BHCI manual. One other way to get a different perspective on the battlefield is to attach your camera to a specific unit. This is very helpful when exploring or engaging in combat. Let's attach to a unit. Excellent, Lieutenant. Your camera is now attached to the selected unit. You may find it easier to orchestrate your attacks while in this mode. All of the camera commands are still available. Feel free to try them out at your leisure. Now let's return to free camera mode. Good, your camera has now been restored to full mobility. Now let me show you how to engage in a secondary attack. This is General Brasher, and I hope you're a quick study, Lieutenant, because we've just received a transmission from Lord Vader. The Corellian escape pod has ejected from a rebel blockade runner above Tatooine and crash-landed near your location. We believe the pod is carrying top-secret Imperial information stolen by the rebels. You've been ordered to take command of Captain Terek's Zeta unit and lead the search for the escape pod. Get to it! You heard the General, Lieutenant. Move out. I'm on my way. Your command? For the Empire! Your command? Long live the Emperor! Position engaged. Dallas Tanter here. Whatever you say, Brent. On my way, Brent. Stormtrooper reporting as ordered. For the Empire. Stormtrooper ready, sir. Long live the Emperor. That's not good. But anyway, we're playing Force Commander. First mission is training mission. I'm sorry I haven't been more outspoken, but I'm just letting the guy talk. Talk, 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 talk. And we're going out to kill sand people. Because the sand people are. The sand people are quite normally unprovoked, but for the next. Reporting as ordered. 
Reporting at once, sir. The sand people fighting very easily, but we're turning. But they're returning great enough. Oh, Stormtrooper reporting. Walking there would be impossible. Your command? I've got it. Stormtrooper reporting as ordered. Reporting at once, sir. Stormtrooper ready, sir. Watch the atom. Opposition engaged. Well, there goes all my do backs. Oh uh, well. Reporting at once, sir. Let's see, when did this come out? Two thousand. <laughs> so yeah, this pro this made the Long special live mission. the Emperor! Opposition engaged. Look, sir. Droid. The Lieutenant, this is Dallas. We found signs of droids in the area. Thank you, Trooper. And there we go. Training's all done. Oh, done. The last two troopers and 